hi guys welcome to our youtube channel g dynamic tube tv if you are returning subscribers thank you for always coming to watch our videos and if this is your first time coming to our youtube channel i would like you to click on the subscribe button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to always get the latest news anytime we upload a video naira mali will rot in jail you see this mobile situation that's not the only thing this man is going to be in there for because we just don't want distraction which is why we have not you know gone ahead with the other lawsuits that we have piling up against naramali as this fashola this is what yabo ojo is saying hi welcome to this channel and in this video we are discussing naramali's um detention we are discussing Mubad's death and we are talking about the involvement of Nigerian actress, entrepreneur and movie producer Ia Bojo. Now, Mubad died. I mean, I feel like this is a preamble that you don't need the updates on. You know how Ia Bojo has taken it upon herself and some other celebrities, but particularly we are focusing on Ia Bojo's involvement. So let's just say you know how she has... Um, involved herself in ensuring that Mobad get Mobad gets justice because she is of the belief that Naira Mali and Sam Larry have some things to do with the with the um demise of Nigerian rapper singer Aloba Ilirolu I promise popularly referred to as Naira Mali which occurred on the 12th of September 2023. So fast forward 4th of October, Naira Mali returned to Nigeria and himself and Sam Larry have been in detention ever since then. A few days ago, Naira Mali and Sam Larry sued the magistrate's court and the Nigerian police to a sum of 40 million um, Nigerian Naira saying that they are being held against their rights and it's a violation of their human rights, that they've been in custody now for about a, about a month and that that's not uh that's not right but yabo just now come to say you see that one this one i'm god we see i will <laughs> i will push you like this i will stand on this case and i will be watching like this while they throw you and when they when they sentence you to jail for real for real when the court find when the judge finds you guilty and sentence you for you for you i'll be standing there like this and this she said in reaction to a popular nigerian tiktok influencer a tiktok a very dark man who uh who who, who has come for air bojo's involvement in the case against naira um in this in in the course of seeking justice of course for mobad now very dark man and yabojo have had a few back and forth but this latest one she did was now when yabojo revealed why she had taken personally the old situation with naira mali and sam larry because she said this person that you want me to support in reaction to what very dark man said he said this person this is naira mali that i want me to support this very dark man that you want me to support do you know that they list the drinks of my children yes at some point in my life i thought these guys were okay people that you could actually you know uh they had a record label and then if you have somebody really wants to make it in the industry you could send them there and then they will help you you know basically put this person on the map in the music industry and so she sent some of our kids now officially yabaoju has two biological children that's festus and priest and of course neither of them are in the music industry so like which of your children did you now send to naramali's house for you to say that naramali you know um introduced your children to hard drugs and people are like okay so yabaoju has some other children that she um takes care of she has other kids that she has adopted and all that so they are saying that these kids were the ones that were the ones that had interest in music um in doing music and then yabo just sent them to, to the malian house only for this guy these children to come and tell yabo that see help our life for because <laughs> we are being given <laughs> orishi orishi to a drink and you know our drinks our food are being lazy you know when you want to cook or whatever they put all of these things inside it and they say they have, they make the children you know just basically do that and they are like um it's wrong so this, that was what made um yabojo take our children away from the care of naramali so she's saying that the only reason she's not pursuing that part of the old deal just yet is because 
they still want they want to seek justice for Mobad. That once they secure justice for Mobad, they will now go back to the issue of every other thing that Naramali has done. They are going to go back to that and then another set of investigation will be opened and we will now know what's up. So that's what is currently happening. But the, the, the revelation of Yaba Ojo saying this has brought a lot of feedback from the internet. Netizens are saying, so now we know why you took this situation very personal. Now we know why you just you just wanted something against Naya Mali. It's because you have a personal grudge against him. And you're revealing this now. Now, you've let this man push you. Very dark man is going to be the end of you. Because you have let him push you so much that you have now reviewed something you should know that can even get a whatever person to dismiss this case. That is what they are saying now. That so basically there are some things that nothing should nothing should get out of your mouth <laughs> nothing should get it out of the inside out of with the i mean you just you understand the gist so that i said that nothing should have made iabojo review such a thing but she has revealed it now and they are saying that she's just showing that she actually cannot really take care of her household because she's been that her children you know do drugs because if you don't if they are saying they are putting this thing in the food for you you refuse to eat the food <laughs> but yeah that's where we currently are now nigerians are saying yeah but has revealed the real reason that because the way she because when mobad was alive she was never in support of mobad now she she never for once you know said nothing concerning this young man but all of a sudden after his death she's now the advocate and spokesperson for the late mobad but it's because she wants to use that to further her own cause against naira mali and sam larry so that's where we are at um excuse me that's where we are at currently nigerians are saying that that's why abojo took up this case and now we know the true story i'd like to hear from you guys in the comment section let me know what you think but yes thank you so much for watching this video that's where we stand currently um thank you for watching this video subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed like this video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one until then take care of yourselves and bye